Hello, 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 we're back. We're gonna go into episode two because why not? I'm in the mood to play some game. I play chill out and have a couple, have a couple beer. Play through a game or two. Uh, play through an episode or two. Just chill out, not have to like focus on the game as much, you know? Just focus more on the story. Previously on Batman, the Telltale series. The revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make right. sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. The Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Matt. <laughs> this is Selena. You mean the Wayne? The Wayne is the biggest guy. That's when you take the mask off and you're like, bitch! What'd you say? The game's here to adapt to the choices you made and the story is tailored to about how you play. I like that. That's why Telltale is so good. Rest in peace. You'll be missed. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. I didn't really say so public and messy. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. That is true. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. You knew all that, and you never let on. You're behaving like I was part of the conspiracy. I want you to know 
I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? Your holy <laughs> God, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. I like Alfred. I'm never gonna. I never want him to not this like is the me. First so. Time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a lowlife thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known, too, too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless, criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave, just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. Okay. times at that theater how long did it play there only when you wanted to see it Bruce your mother arranged the special screenings personally I never knew that she was always so good to me I'd hope so she's a fucking billionaire Exactly, does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. But do I really?
Tell us. Okay. Are you all right? It wasn't a mug. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Broken memories, achievement unlocked. Alrighty. see Falcone like this I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking now, don't get me wrong I'm always here for you but this could land us both in hot water I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant this better not come back to bite us look I get that hard okay and it means a lot to me I know it does Bruce it doesn't make it any easier the last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone the press made us pay at least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. This is a personal matter, Harvey. Fine, fine, don't tell me. But I hope none of this comes back to bite us. I don't want headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Valcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? Yeah, I'm right. It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but. He held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Whoever he is behind the mask, that man's a hero to me. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Damn right. Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. Just like every other time they tried to put me away. We need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. We are not family, Falcone. 
I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Heard him. I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course, you'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? Dent, his plans for you, Gordon too. I won't rob them of that. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. That's why you were kept in the dark. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. But if you got on his bad side, your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still, he made us all rich, including you. Some people just have the mind for it. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that <laughs> Waiting for you in hell. The bastard had to die. Damn. That's zero to a hundred real fast, sir. Stand down. Get a doctor. Secure this floor. No one gets in or out. Go. Go. The fuck the <laughs> We are in deep shit. Oh, I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out sooner or later. Do something like this. We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close. We were this close. You both heard her. She had no love for Falcone. She's supposed to do her duty, not act on impulses. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. <sighs> Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. Now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? <sighs> Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story or someone else will. Then we need the whole story, not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Hmm. A fresh injection site. That does.
doesn't look like blood. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. Alfred, I think I found the substance. So analyze and forward me the result. Oh. <clears throat> of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the result. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Uh Everything is such a blur. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never... Never betray the lieutenant. Mm. It's so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. So sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, I, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution that's not much to go on now if you're bringing forensics in let's get bruce out alfred i gotta get back to the manor i've got a lead on whoever's behind this bruce what what are you doing here my friends in the in the gcpd have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown i'm, I'm sorry vicky I, I don't have time don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. You know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate Prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. Now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. A police sergeant, Lene Montoya. W wait, Sergeant Montoya? You didn't get this from me. Damn, son. Shouldn't have gave it to her. Fuck it. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. 
In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sickbed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> no one should act as all three. <clears throat> I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Oh. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but... Dragging others to fight them for you. Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Damn right. Who's that fucking guy?
You lot, come check out this office. Where is... I don't know! Please! Oh, okay. Names. Right. You can help me. Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. But don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. I said let him go. You hear that, Roland? That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time mm -hmm. to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is, people that couldn't fight back here's the thing i actually admire you batman we both want the same kinds of things me and my people we've got big plans for gotham they found catwoman what do you want with her we had a deal she didn't make good on it so sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> no! No! Yeah, so I, I, I didn't think I was going to have to click that fast. Um... So I had just like... Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. Oh damn. Shit's going down, that's Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light Whoops, I clicked on click off the stream. Whoopsies. Him, Bruce Wayne should <coughs> there we go. Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as well, the jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. 
to keep a low profile. Here. Didn't you see the game here, asshole? Are you blind or something? My bad. I'm not looking for trouble. It looks like it found you. I know you. You're that rich dude. You're that guy on the news. Yeah, I get that all the time. It's something about the chin. You think I'm dumb? Bruce, stop stirring up the natives and buy me a drink. Wait, whoa. This guy's with you? Face it, Frank, you suck at pool. Why are you starting trouble over it? Damn. Nice one, Bruce. Way to keep a low profile. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better. No matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right. If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing. It really is adorable, but what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all-work-and-no-play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. I'm sorry, why are, why are we talking about Harvey? He's your friend, isn't he? Just seeing how much of a conscience you really have. You and I... Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Punch him in the face. Oh. really fun.
They gonna fall in love. Not done yet. Let's give it to him. Fuck it, hell. Damn, son. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. This way. Damn son. That was that was a fun that was a dope scene. Quick, check the alleyway. Huh. Negative, let's check the other side. Wow, very thorough guys. That was a good check. Oh, they're gonna fuck it. We're going for the kiss, boys. Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Uh. Yes or no? Will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. <laughs> the amount of fucking flirting between them. God damn. <sighs> Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? Quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. <coughs> this. Oh, bless me, fuck. I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Batman is the sure bet. Fucking Batman. Batman 
and has the public trust after taking down Falcone. Try not to throw it away by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option. I got it, Alfred. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Never, you incompetent! Dent's up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 minutes or cutting your pay. Who's there? Deborah? Is that you? Expecting someone? Maybe the penguin. Oh! Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? You think people will still vote for you when you've got no teeth left? I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies. You really believe that? I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family, and he's the one who profited. Hmm. Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! I'm being assaulted! Oh. Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! I want the truth! And I'll break every bone in your body to get it. You're insane. Just like they say. A madman in a mask. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. Yeah. With enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. <laughs> no. Please. Don't. Oh, no. You can tell your story to the police. See what they think about it. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father. It must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Uh, indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. Oh. But Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. 
to learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll uh, leave you to it then. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kinda crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look, Bruce. I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. There. I, I get it, it's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. <laughs> but here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. <clears throat> Hill needs to be removed. Fine, I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? it takes to save Gotham. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Oh, you don't know how much this means to me. Uh, to Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Harvey Dent needs to put on his face. Tonight, remember, Your face. You are always my friend. <laughs> The foreshadowing that Two Face is in episode three. Batman. Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. But just so we're clear, you and me, we're on shaky ground. Jim, listen. No, listen to me. The excessive violence, it, it can't go on. Most of the GCPD already think you're a monster. Don't prove them right. I do what the police can't. I get the job done. Now give me the report so I can do my job. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half. Yeah, fuck you, Gordon. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. Uh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. 
I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Sure. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, citizens of Gotham, who will soon head into the polls to decide the future of your home. This is All right. <gasps> Shalom. That's right. Let's do this. We know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business firing the moderator. I like that guy. <laughs> These hostages? I don't like their chances. Uh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. <laughs> Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly. I'll let her take this one out. All right, let's do this one. Sounds fun. And third guy. There we go.
Keep your rats down. Make for the police line. Damn right. And now, a word from our sponsor. My downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that root in your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Did you ever meet the guy on the screen? Nope. Smart to let someone else do your dirty work. Go on, love. You know what to do. Oh, shit. Subject 9, Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please, I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we were friends. We played play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. Now you know. Now you will see. Oh, damn. Stop! I had him killed because of it! That won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. How about you kill anyone else? Wait your turn, Dent! What? 
was literally like a second. What the hell? It's just, it's just like, oh, break your brain. You Fucking Frankenstein over here, man. Stop! I had him killed because of it! That won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. Why don't you kill anyone else? Wait your turn, Dent! Your revolution is over, Penguin. On the contrary, we're just getting started! <laughs> I'm saving Selena. Face. Harvey. Where's the maniac in the mask? We need paramedics over here. Now. Damn. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. <sighs> he won't be the same after this. family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Who is that?
episode two is done all right did you ease falco's pain i told him to suffer all right next did you kiss selena 78 percent people tried to yeah did you and 42 people or me and 42 percent of people chose to visit mayor hill as batman i wanna yeah why not did you withdraw your funding for harvey's campaign me and 91 people did present people didn't and 62 percent of people saved selena over harvey Alrighty. See what happens in the next episode. Ugh. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. You may have saved me, but this isn't over. You don't know these people, Bruce. Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy. But there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What do you want from me? You know what I want. No more hiding, not for anyone. But don't worry, Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming to him. Bruce! Bruce! Okay.